Hi, I'm David Cobb. I have the honor of serving as the campaign manager for Jill Stein and Ajamu Baraka, the presidential and vice presidential nominees of the Green Party of the United States. Why am I doing this? Quite simply because I'm a revolutionary, a nonviolent revolutionary, but a revolutionary to be sure. What do I mean? I mean I believe that we need to restructure this society. We need to make the United States of America a functioning democratic republic where we the people actually govern ourselves. You know, like we were taught in junior high and high school in this country. You see, I don't believe that we actually have a functioning democracy. I, like most Americans, know already that a small ruling elite actually govern us. You see, the unelected and unaccountable corporate CEOs of this country are not just exercising power, they are ruling us. As surely as masters once ruled slaves, as surely as kings once ruled subjects, unelected and unaccountable corporate CEOs are ruling us because they're making the decisions. I'm a green because I believe that we need an electoral arm of the growing movements for peace, justice, democracy, and ecological protection in this country. And believe me, those movements are on the move. They're getting larger, stronger, and better organized every day. And the Green Party aspires to be the electoral arm of those movements. Imagine Black Lives Matter, Occupy Wall Street, the call for protection of the environment, a call to end the climate crisis, a call to transition away from oil and coal and nuclear power and transition into clean alternative energy sources. Imagine dismantling the prison industrial complex. Imagine fully funding education. Oh, I'm not through. Imagine tuition-free education all the way through college. Imagining a president that could abolish your student debt like that. Is it possible? You bet it is. Jill Stein actually has a plan to completely eliminate existing student debt by using qualitative easing and allowing the Federal Reserve to make that happen. It's the same thing and one of the same techniques that we actually saw being used by the ruling elite when they gave $16 trillion to the Wall Street elite to address the so-called financial crisis. Imagine using those same processes to address the student debt crisis. Imagine a president who is able to unshackle the youth of this country and to actually put them to work. And by putting them to work, I really mean putting all of us to work. I want you to imagine what it would be like to have a Green New Deal where we invest in ordinary people getting to work, rebuilding the infrastructure of this country. Bridges, roads, canals, Imagine a mass transit system, high-speed rail all across the country. Imagine what could be done with the trillions of dollars if they were going to people instead of corporations. That's what I'm inviting you to think about. Imagine those movements then with an electoral arm, candidates running for office at the local, county, state, and even federal level, where we are literally making a play for power. That's what nonviolent revolution would look like. That's what the Green Party represents today. And I think that it's important that we actually recognize that the Green Party is not an idealistic effort. There is idealism to be sure, but really the Green Party is a serious, credible political party making plans to take and exercise political power in this country. Imagine the ability to actually have single-payer health care as a fundamental human right. Imagine the ability to create community policing. Imagine the ability to wean ourselves off of coal and oil and nuclear power to sustainable alternative energy sources. Imagine the ability to actually govern ourselves. That's what I'm talking about. And it doesn't even end there. Imagine the ability to abolish the illegitimate court-created idea that a corporation is a person with constitutional rights. Imagine the idea of having true publicly funded elections, because right now we know that our elections are becoming auctions. And I want to be honest about something, folks, and it's really important that we have the courage to acknowledge this, that principled liberals and progressives have been lied to and sold out by the ruling elite of the Democratic Party, who are taking their money and their marching orders from big corporations, 
banks, and Wall Street. But you know what? There's a corollary to that, and that is principled conservatives have been lied to and sold out by the ruling elite of the Republican Party, who are taking their money, their marching orders, from the same damn corporations, Wall Street executives, and big banks. The point I'm making is this. Ordinary people need to start coming together and building a movement. Together, we're able to change this country. As Jill and Jammu say, it's in our hands.